and it's going to be really important for us to be able to use the power of a football club to be able to engage a community to talk about mental health. There's a myth, I would say, that people don't want to talk about mental health. I think people do, they just don't really know how, and that's what this building's going to do. It's going to give people those avenues to talk. During my uh, depression, and certainly uh, before my suicide attempt, which is almost exactly five years ago, I didn't know anything about depression. I didn't really talk ever about mental health, whether, whether that was good or bad. Looking back, obviously I'm very lucky to still be here today and be able to talk about that. Um, but you shouldn't have to go through something to understand what it is. I became a very good actor, very good liar. Lied to everyone who I knew, um, not just about who I was, what I was doing, but how I was feeling. I didn't know I could be helped, I didn't know I could be fixed, I didn't know it was something that could be treated. So the biggest turning point in my life was, was that kind of, that acceptance from my family and, and from me to say, okay, things aren't good and, and I'm going to get better. I was just inside this, this bubble of, of numbness and the best way to describe how I felt afterwards was like that bubble was burst and suddenly I could, I could breathe, I could feel air inside my lungs. It's like, like the people's place is so important because the grassroots organisations, the places where you don't necessarily have a waiting list, you can go in, you can be around people, you can seek that help. That's what's so important is that preventative early intervention support that can prevent people from, from allowing the problems to escalate and become a crisis. We created Chasing the Stigma and through Chasing the Stigma we created uh, the Hub of Hope which is a national mental health database uh, that makes help as easy as possible to find. So all you have to do is click a button and it'll find a nearest support to you. We just want to change that narrative to say that there's help available and you never ever have to be alone. Uh, we're very lucky to, to be able to partner with Everton on the People's Place. Um, you know, it's a huge achievement for us, particularly personally as, a, as an Everton fan. What better way to tackle that stigma than to use heroes idols, you know, a football club that means so much to so many people to be able to say this is fine, you can talk about it, we'll help you. Everton are, are a club who are doing things, they're not just talking about it, they're actually doing it. Um, it's not gestures, it's not box ticking, it's not lip service, it's actually let's create something that's going to make a difference to the community. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, well, it's beyond exciting at the, at the moment, but um, I can't wait to see it. What we try to do through the Ambassadors of Hope training is to create what is like a baseline level of understanding about mental health, focusing on three key areas, which is how to talk about mental health, how to signpost using the Hub of Hope, which is a database that we've created at Chasing Stigma, and what to do in crisis management. What we're not trying to do is make people experts, but we don't believe you have to be an expert or should be an expert to have that level of understanding to be able to know what to do in those situations. Education is, is essential um, when, if we're talking about the stigmas attached to mental health and the significant numbers that are attached to deaths by suicide. Uh, you know, almost three quarters of people who died by suicide in the last year were not known to mental health services or had not been seen in at least a year. By doing this training and by educating people about the routes to follow, um, we can really help to try and reduce those numbers uh, and allow people to know that they're not alone. I think if we can um, help people to make the first step to look for help, I think we did an impressive thing. And because that's most of the time can be the most important thing um, for that people to, uh, to find a better solution in, in their lives. Football can do a lot of uh, good things in, in the community and the step to go to, to your own club or the people from your own club and to speak about your problem or to tell someone about it, uh, if we can um, open that door for them, I think we can do a great thing. When you start looking at stats and, and statistics of, of how many people um, need help or unfortunately haven't got the help, um, you know, it opens your eyes and you know, with, with Jake coming his own personal experience and, and sort of um, guiding us through the, um, the protocol, if you like, of what to do and, and how, to, how to be helpful, because that's basically all it is. You know, it's, it's being there when someone needs you and um, making sure that 
Um, you asked the right questions. Mental health's a massive thing. You say we'd, if you had a, a, a broken leg or a sore back, you'd probably go and see a doctor. Um, for whatever reason, over the, the, the course of the years previously, if, you, if you're not feeling quite yourself and you can't put your finger on it, rather than maybe going to, to seek help, you'd, you'd either bury it deep down or you try and speak to someone and, and like I say, maybe that person you're speaking to doesn't really know how to deal with themselves and you're sort of going in a circle, so it's nice to, to openly talk about things like this. It's absolutely staggering, isn't it, to hear about the numbers of young people in particular who are taking their own life or at risk of suicide and it's something that as a football club I, you know, I'm determined that we reach out and help. And we're particularly proud of our commitment to mental health. Many years ago we wanted to tackle the stigma that is often associated to people living with mental health issues, but today is a real step forward for us. It's ongoing and also obviously we're about to launch a new project so that we will have an opportunity of a centre so people can come and join us and whether that's about people having first line referrals who are suffering from low level anxiety right up to those at the uh, risk of suicide we want to make sure that we're doing and playing our part and doing what we can as a football club in our local community to support our members of the community. It was a fascinating session to be honest uh, very insightful it only lasted 20 minutes but felt like I learned a great deal in that time um, really just some uh, simple information that really you wouldn't think about and I think I feel much better equipped now that if I was ever faced with a position where I, I could help somebody who was, uh, who was uh, suffering with mental health. It's a growing challenge in our society and going through sessions like this can be very very helpful for everybody and ultimately the person who, who might have those challenges so uh, it was a, a really really good session and I think Everton's commitment for all members of our staff uh, to go through the training is, is a really good one and it will be very positive for, for our staff and everybody that they know.